afternoon. Once again, we are representing the negative and staying like the status quo should stay, and that performance enhancing drugs should want to remain illegal for usage by athletes in the professional Olympic sports. Um, they talked about the boost ratings and how like the ML, like Mr. Gilbert brought up how it boost ratings in the baseball seasons during McGuire and Sosa. However, the ratings were being boosted, but no one knew they were technically using the steroids at the moment. It wasn't until later when it was found out, and they had many cases about steroids, that the ratings then dropped down, that, that they were in, sh in shame in the public eye. Because everybody, most of America still believes in that morality and the cheating way, and then when they see this, it's not like they're like well respected by the public anymore, and they're still getting, you can even see that now with Lance Armstrong, who's currently going through that. Um, also, like the Olymp, uh, Ellie brought up how like the Olympic Olympic athletes say some of them took uh, drugs, but they weren't caught. Well, the Olympics uh, keep your blood and urine for eight years. Testing is still going on. They still can take back your medals. Nothing is really set in stone for the Olympics with their drug testing. And though people may be getting by now, why should that mean we should just allow it all to happen? We should, if anything, making uh, stronger testing and stuff and figuring out why, because also, and then what well, Lloyd was somewhat bringing up is where are they getting the funding for this, that to get all these doctors regulating case by case, athlete per athlete. There are tons of athletes, not tons, but a bunch of athletes per team. It's not the normal 11, 11 like lineup you see. There are tons of other M's, and if everybody's going case by case, that's just impractical and illogical, because where's the time and money going towards this? And where is the funding, especially where does the funding come from? And it wouldn't create equality, because as I stated before, even if you don't have the right then to choose anymore, you are being forced to take steroids. If you want to remain your keep your job and uh, keep playing, even though you don't feel it's morally right, or if you disagree with that, if you know that of the health risks, because if your teammates are taking it and you want to keep playing, you're going to keep taking it. Performance enhancing drugs were created to give an unfair advantage to the taker. Allowing them in sports will not level the playing field, as I said, where there will still be athletes who rightfully choose not to take them. More people will get hurt, and sports will lose the touch of talent that they were created upon. With allowing steroids, the game will no longer be about human physical achievement, but instead a chemical achievement. So once again, say no to drugs and vote negative.